In the last video, we have learned about the required keyword in Sorty that how we can handle error in our Sorty smart contract. In this video, we're going to learn about the one more keyword to handle error. Okay, so let me give this command assert. Okay, because we're going to use assert. And last time we used the required, but this time we're going to use assert. So let me create a contract. We'll say assert statement. In that, I'm going to take a couple of variables, state variable, boolean, result, and I want to create a function. We'll say check overflow. It will have a number. Take two numbers, public. Okay. So we're going to take a two input from the user and we're going to perform certain calculation. Okay. So we'll say num1 plus num2. And we want to simply check for the condition. I want to simply say result is true. Okay. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking two number, I'm performing the sum, and I'm saying that if sum is less or equal to 255, then result is going to be true. Okay. That's a simple logic we have built here. Let's bring this up and let's try to deploy the contract. And here you can see the contract is deployed. You can see you can easily able to find all the execution cost which you have paid for deploying the contract. Okay, so it, again, I'm telling you it's very important that you should always compare all the variables which you use that how much gas it's costing you. Okay, so that looks fine to me. No more problem we have here. Let's open this one. And this is the function we have. And here we have to pass two number. So I'll say 45, 5, 78. Okay, if I save and you can see this is the two number which I have provided 45 and 78 and the result i got back is where it is mm. okay i'm not returning anything from this function that's why you can but you can see the let's make it public okay let's make a public so we can see you can you have the most option you can simply return from this function but i'm not returning. i'll make it public so let's deploy the contract and let's try to have a look let's you can see right now the result is false let me provide the number so i'll say 34 and 67 if I make a request, you can see the result is true now. Okay, so it's working fine because the sum is less than 255. So that looks pretty fine. So I believe that you guys have understood that how you can use this assert in your smart contract for checking for a condition. But here you have noticed one thing in the required statement, we have used the like condition and the message. But here in the assert, we are using only condition, no message. Okay, so that's the key point you have to keep in mind let's bring the terminal down so that's the simple function we have written let's come here let's create a one more function get result public view return and we want to return simply string we'll say if result is deeply equal to true then we want to say that return no overflow else return overflow exist okay so that's the simple logic we have simply remove this one and now let's try to deploy the contract and contract is deployed and simply bring it up here we have this get result click on this get result and here you can see overflow exist okay if we provide the number so 45 56 hit a request and you can see right now the result is above okay so it say no overflow Okay, that looks pretty fine. You can see on the base of that, we can easily able to check the data. So believe that things are looking good to all of you guys. Now you guys can understand that how you can use this required statement or a asserted statement to handle error, how you can use in different functions and check condition. Okay, so that's the pretty simple thing. That's the only thing you have to know about this assert keyword in Solidity Smart Contract to handle error. Okay, there's no rocket science there okay it's a simple keyword you have to know the rules that how you can utilize it and you can straightaway apply okay so with that i'm ending this video let's move to the next video and that we're going to use one more keyword to handle our error okay